Welcome to Fantastic Vision. Please subscribe us before you watch today's video. The Netherlands is a major country in the lithography machine industry chain. The country's ASML is the world's largest lithography machine manufacturer, and the only giant that can produce EUV lithography machines. As the saying goes, a big tree attracts wind. The stronger the Dutch lithography machine industry is, the easier it is to be attracted by the United States. Under pressure from the United States, the Netherlands had no choice but to reach a tripartite agreement between the United States, Japan and the Netherlands to adopt export control regulations on DUV lithography machines. However, the Netherlands suddenly announced that the ban on Chinese lithography machines has been lifted and ASML can continue to ship all DUV lithography machines to the mainland. The matter is not over yet, foreign media, supply cuts will be resumed in 2024. Tripartite Agreement Between the United States, Japan, and the Netherlands In response to the restrictive measures on Chinese semiconductors, lithography machines are the key target of US restrictions. Because the photolithography machine is one of the most critical equipment in the chip manufacturing process, its function is to project the graphic pattern of the circuit chip onto the silicon wafer and form the circuit pattern on the silicon wafer. Therefore, lithography machines are crucial to the quality and performance of chip manufacturing. The reason why the United States uses photolithography machines as the key target of restrictive measures is to fundamentally block the possibility of China producing high-end chips. Japan and the Netherlands are both major countries in lithography machines. Japan's Nikon, Canon and the Netherlands ASML dominate the global lithography machine market. The United States has reached an agreement with these two countries, and it is not easy for any country or region to break through the restrictions. Taking photolithography machines as an example, ASML alone has a monopoly of more than 80% of the global market share. Together with Nikon and Canon, it almost accounts for more than 95% of the front-end photolithography machine market share. Under the ban on photolithography machines, mainland China needs to face more challenges. However, things are not without improvement. The Netherlands suddenly announced that the ban on Chinese photolithography machines has been lifted. The ban on photolithography machines has been lifted. The Netherlands implemented an export control ban on DUV lithography machines on September 1. According to previous analysis by ASML, NXT, 2000 I and subsequent DUV lithography machines cannot be exported to mainland China. ASML has three mainstream DUV lithography machines, namely NXT 1980DI, NXT 2000I, and NXT 2050I. During the ban on lithography machines, ASML can freely ship the NXT 1980DI equipment from 10 years ago. Unless ASML obtains a license, the shipment of the other two high-end DUV lithography machines will not be restricted. News came from the Netherlands that a license has been issued to ASML, the ban on lithography machines has been lifted, and all DUV lithography machines can be shipped to the mainland. ASML also issued a statement stating that under the new export control regulations, it will still be able to fulfill its contracts with customers at the end of this year. This is good news for ASML and mainland Chinese customers. ASML can get more mainland orders, and mainland customers can also meet their chip manufacturing needs. ASML sales are expected to hit a new high in 2023, expected to increase by more than 30%. If ASML can fully support shipments to mainland customers, maybe mainland China can surpass South Korea and become ASML's second largest market source. ASML still has many orders from mainland China that have not yet been delivered, accounting for 20% of ASML's total undelivered orders, and the value may exceed 60 billion yuan. 
You must know that China is the world's largest importer of semiconductor equipment. From June to July this year alone, the amount of imported semiconductor equipment was close to 5 billion US dollars, a 70% increase from last year's import volume of 2.9 billion US dollars. With such a large import demand, ASML will definitely be reluctant to leave the mainland market and do everything possible to obtain a license from the Netherlands. ASML has a license in hand, and its first priority is to step up the production of photolithography machines and make every effort to ensure supply from the mainland. The matter is not over yet, foreign media, supply cuts will be resumed in 2024. It turns out that the license obtained by ASML is only for 2023. ASML's license will expire after January 2024, and it will be basically impossible to obtain license approval in the future. In other words, ASML can only use the remaining few months to ship more high-end DUV lithography machines to mainland China. After 2024, ASML will be able to ship the most advanced equipment to mainland China, which is the NXT 1980DI model lithography machine from 10 years ago. Theoretically, NXT 1980DI can also achieve mass production of 7 nanometers chips, but after multiple exposures, the yield rate will be reduced and the cost will not be worthwhile. More are used in the mass production of mature chips such as 14 nanometers and 28 nanometers. How will the domestic supply chain respond after the supply cutoff is restored? The United States and Western countries can decide whether to ship lithography machines at will, and they can change the pattern of the chip manufacturing industry with just one sentence. It is only a matter of time before the Netherlands resumes its ban on the supply of high-end DUV lithography machines. If the supply suspension is restored, how should the domestic supply chain respond? The best solution is naturally independent research and development. This requires strengthening investment in lithography machine manufacturers improving their production capacity and technical level, and increasing the production volume of domestic lithography machines. It also promotes the upgrading and transformation of the domestic chip industry, strengthens the research and development and production of high-end chips, and reduces the demand for imported photolithography machines. In addition, expand cooperation with other countries to find alternative supply channels. Outside of the Netherlands and Japan, there are also many lithography machine parts suppliers that can cooperate. They may not necessarily be in the US camp, and suppliers pursuing independent core interests may not be in the minority. Therefore, China must also grasp the cooperation of these suppliers to meet the supply needs of photolithography machine parts. If foreign parts cannot be purchased, Domestic manufacturers must also improve their independent innovation capabilities and core technology levels, and take the route of self-reliance. Cutting off the supply of lithography machines to the Netherlands will only push ASML to the forefront, and it will not do the Netherlands any good to cooperate with the US sanctions against its own companies. It would be best if the Netherlands could completely abandon the ban on photolithography machines. On the contrary, the Netherlands will resolutely join the same trend as the United States. In the end, it will only achieve nothing, and China will achieve domestic substitution and break the situation. If you agree with the views of this video, please like it, welcome to repost, leave a message and share it.